everybody, Jaws Jr. here. Finally, I am out of the rain. And, well, let me see that one there. We in a light breeze. So what does that mean? Finally, I can have some more fun with this. The little Benjamin wildfire that I did a review on earlier. I've been wanting to get out and shoot this thing more, but the weather's been so bad and I could not get into that indoor range that I just decided, well, I'll wait. So I came out to uh, a place probably about 150 miles to the east. And I am here, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna have some good times with it. And we're going to see what this thing can do. I shot some earlier in the wind and it actually had a pretty respectful group. Let's see if I can duplicate that. So sit back, watch, and who knows, I might screw this thing up, and, but I'll still show you guys anyway. Sit back and watch. Here is the setup. I'll be shooting at the blue targets. Now, this one here was the one I did not too long ago. That's where I sighted it in at. That was the discovery, and that was also the discovery, and that was a Mrs. Jaws Jr. with a wildfire. So let's see if I can reduplicate this here. And this is at 15 yards. Okay, let's, here we go. Okay, let's see what we did. I don't like the grouping, but I had a couple of good shots. So we'll move over to this next one here. One thing I can say, I still hate the trigger. I hope somebody can come up with an aftermarket trigger assembly for that thing because it is absolutely horrible. So let's come up here and see what I did. 
this was my first shot. I think that was the second one. You'll have to remind me off the other camera. So the grouping on that one's not too bad. You got these over here, but these here I bet were from, my, from that trigger when I had a hard time pulling it. So I'm just really not overly pleased with that thing. I mean, for a 15-yard grouping, yeah, that's okay, but everything ought to be right here. So there you go. Take it for what it is. Um, we'll see about doing some other stuff with it. But, yeah, this is something that you're not going to win any competitions with. And you're going to be lucky to hit a ground squirrel at 25 yards. So as it goes, the Benjamin Wildfire PCP Semi-Auto is subpar. I don't care for it too much. That trigger is horrible. It just doesn't matter. So I'm going to be looking on the aftermarket program to see what we can come up with and see if we can find anything. But you know, for now, I've got it. I'm stuck with it. I'm going to go ahead and just keep shooting the thing. So I've got some metal targets down there, and let's go ahead and shoot at some of them and see if I can do any good with them. I need more trigger time. So there you go. I think I hit it seven or eight times out of the 12. The last shot, that was empty. I don't know, I'm just a little disappointed in it. I'm just disappointed in this thing. It's not a tech driver. And I know, I'm not the greatest shooter in the world. I, I need a lot more trigger time to get myself more proficient. My technique and my style is probably horrible there as well, and I'm probably here about it, but that's okay. <laughs> this is for me, and I'm just taking you guys along for the ride, so be as critical as you want. I don't care. But for now, yeah, it is what it is. Short video about the Benjamin Wildfire PCP Semi-Auto 12-shot rifle. I did shoot three magazines, 36 shots on that one charge, plus the three extra ones too. So actually squeeze the trigger nine times, on, I mean 39 times on that before it needs a refill. Because the pressure is right at 1,000 right now. So people, it's $150. Is $150 worth of fun? It could be over time. Should I have bought it? Probably not. It's going to be a good one for the grandkids. That's the best thing I can say. It's going to be a good one for the grandkids to play with because of that strong trigger. They're going to really have to think about what they're doing in order to uh, properly shoot this one. But I do. I do want to work on that trigger. I want to get that trigger so it's not a 12 pound freaking pull. Whoever designed that is an idiot, in my opinion. My father, who's had hand surgery, cannot hardly squeeze this trigger, and he's been a, a shooter for multiple years. Jaws, the original Jaws. He's hundreds of thousands of rounds of ammunition has, has been shot off through the, his fingertip. And he sat down earlier today, and he hated it. Yeah, I gave him the Discovery, and he still didn't care for that one because the trigger pull is about uh, four to five pounds. Everything that he has is two pounds. But he also has recently had some uh, shoulder surgery, and his fingers are messed up from being an electrician all his life. So um, 
he could not shoot it. So he is one person that will never shoot this rifle again, this air rifle. So it is what it is, people. And it is was it as it is what it isn't as well. It is not a good firing gun. Oh. But I'm going to keep it. I'm going to continue to have some fun with it. I want to get that trigger better. The scope on it, it's a UTG scope, uh, 4x32, I believe. That's good enough for what it is. I don't plan on changing the scope any. I just want that trigger changed. So for now, everybody, <laughs> with that thing, just remember, everybody's life is an adventure. Then there's mine, even with crappy air rifles. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya.